So, once again, the British people have proven that they don't care much for democracy, so long as there's something shiny in its place. In an article entitled, Diamond Jubilee and Kate Effect Lead to Record Support for the Monarchy, poll shows, reads the following. A new poll shows that 80% of Britons want to remain subjects of the Queen, with just 13% in favour of living in a republic, the lowest proportion for at least 20 years. As recently as 2005, almost twice as many people were in favour of replacing the Queen with a president. The poll is proof that that the Kate effect since last year's royal wedding, coupled with a sense of patriotism stirred by the Diamond Jubilee, has paid huge dividends for the royal family. So we can see that support for the royal family fluctuates based on relative levels of pomp and circumstance at the time of polling. People don't even weigh up the pros and cons of the monarchy based on its qualities as a political structure. No, it's the Kate effect that matters to us. Who cares if the monarchy stifles our democratic process when we have miniature British flags to wave and minor royals to bow to? And the worst part is, when you actually engage monarchists on this issue, the main argument you come up against is Torism. How the existence of institutionalised hereditary power and status in this country can be explained away if we just look at the issue and throw enough money at it. Now I could spend exorbitant amounts of time explaining exactly why the monarchy costs a lot more than officially stated, or why the money that they bring in isn't really all that significant. But frankly, the fact that we're sitting here debating the price of our democracy speaks volumes. How much exactly does the monarchy have to bring in before it outweighs a commitment to fairness and equality? Obviously, as a people, we are quite happy to tolerate monarchs that use their birth-derived status and power to meddle in our democracy, cancel public projects, and fire people, just so long as every once in a while, they step in front of a camera and do the weather. Uh, in the West, rain will be lighter and patchier. There will maybe a few drier interludes over Dumfries House in Ayrshire. Aha. There'll be snow for the higher ground of the Highlands and Aberdeenshire. The potential for a few flurries over Balmoral. Who the hell wrote this script? Uh, as the afternoon.